my boyfriend's HIV positive, we don't want to use condoms, I want him to have, we want to have unprotected sex, I want him to come inside me. We know for a fact that some men don't and will not use condoms when they're having sex. Among those who took the pill every day, the risk uh, of HIV reduced by uh, more than 99%. This pill allows me not to live in fear any longer. I think really it's, it's a game changer in the uh, prevention field. But would you ever go on PrEP? Yeah. If I were HIV negative? Yeah. No. Really? Really. You wouldn't? I would not. Hi there, I'm Nicholas Casimir with Daily Extra. Imagine there's a pill that you can take every day, just like a birth control pill, that can shield you from HIV. Well, according to some people, such a pill exists. In Daily Extra's four-part series, we look at the history, controversy, and promise of pre-exposure prophylactics, otherwise known as PrEPs. In this opening segment, we introduce you to what PrEPs are and how they work. Is this another false start in the fight against HIV or the game changer we've all been waiting for? We can end HIV transmission around the world, starting in cities like Toronto and San Francisco and, and places like that, but it can end around the world, but only if people are willing to put it on the radar screen. screen. I think a lot of folks, you know, because there's been so many decades of condom use that we think that's just the simple answer to everything. Uh, unfortunately, you know, condoms aren't used all the time for a variety of reasons. In the clinic, when we have somebody come in, it's like, my boyfriend's HIV positive. We don't want to use condoms. I want him to have, we want to have unprotected sex. I want him to come inside me. I mean, that's a really difficult situation to be in and say, you know, give the official green light and say, yes, by all means, go for it. I was always worried when I would not use a condom. But you know, in certain situations, it just was it was wrong, but it happened just, I think, like it happened with everyone. Everyone at some point in their, well, most of the people at some point of their life slipped. And we cannot be responsible also for another person. We can be 100% say that our boyfriends, husbands, lovers, 100% uh, 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 faithful. Now, what is PrEP or PEP? Well, they're different things. PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis, and PEP is post-exposure pro prophylaxis. All right, PEP was around, PEP came around in the late 90s, um, and that was the use of antiretrovirals after an exposure to prevent the virus from taking hold in the body. Pre-exposure prophylaxis is the use of HIV medications on a daily basis before an exposure. Uh, the idea is that if the virus gets into your system, you've already got protection against it. PEP comes after the exposure, uh, and, and is, the research is still a little bit out on that, on the effectiveness of it. Uh, PrEP, on the other hand, is, I look at it with my patients as another tool in the arsenal to help prevent HIV infection. It's something that is taken before there's an exposure to HIV. We know that post-exposure prophylaxis is hard for people to use uh, for several reasons. One is they have to wake up in the morning and realize that they need to take immediate action to start post-exposure prophylaxis. Then they have to find a doctor who's willing to write a prescription, they have to find a pharmacy that's willing to fill it, and all of that has to happen within 72 hours of the exposure. And so the idea behind pre-exposure prophylaxis was to engage with people in a calm moment, not the morning after, but uh, when they're thinking through, how are they going to stay safe um, as they pursue their social goals. So in July 2013, I came up as a negative man, HIV negative man, who is taking PrEP. This pill allows me not to live in fear any longer, and this is very liberating experience. In 2012, the FDA approved uh, daily Truvada for PrEP uh, in uh, men and women, and that uh, recommendation or approval was based upon two different studies. One, Partners PrEP, which is using PrEP uh, in heterosexual men and women, and also data from the IPREC study, which was in men who have sex with men as well as trans women who have sex with men. So you conducted a ser series of, uh, spearheaded a series of studies, correct, in regards to PrEP. What were the results? The study that we've completed is uh, called the IPREC study, and, and it enrolled nearly 2,500 uh, gay men and uh, transgendered women. Uh, we enrolled uh, people around the world. Uh, among those who took the pill every day, the risk uh, of HIV reduced by uh, more than 99%.
Wow, so we're talking people who were taking the pill more than four times a week, we're talking seven times a week, a week like yeah. a daily, right. like an aspirin or a daily vitamin. That's right. It's a medical intervention, so we haven't seen medical interventions around prevention uh, as far as sexual activity is concerned. We really have been pushing condom use and reduction of number of uh, sex partners and, and those sorts of harm reduction techniques. I, I think really it's, it's a game changer in the uh, prevention field. I'm not a spokesperson for Chabad. I'm giving you my opinion and I don't want anyone to take my word for it. I think that everyone has to do research and uh, make up their mind. That was part one of our four part series on preps. In the next part of Daily Extra's original online series, is PrEP's promise of condomless sex a cause for alarm or celebration? There are people that will absolutely swear against condom usage. That's the reality. 